Hi everyone, my name is Brent Medoff. I'm one of the third year medicine residents here at UPMC. And Dr. Burlacher and I looked at a flipped classroom model with a YouTube curriculum in particular. So uh, we kind of started looking at this because it's become more popular in medicine in general to use this flipped classroom model. And it's pretty well cited uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a good format for learners. So we decided to take a look with YouTube because there had never been any studies using a YouTube curriculum in a flipped classroom model. So really the purpose was to examine this YouTube curriculum in a flipped classroom model um, to, to see how it would be for both medical knowledge and self-perceived preparedness, which is in our, in our hypothesis there. It was based off a needs assessment. We, we have curricular evaluations and many of the comments kind of mentioned the need for a more formal structured curriculum. So in regards to methods here, we had 64 internal medicine residents rotate through in about six months, and both groups received the usual education, which consisted of a fellow or an attending teaching them daily. And the intervention group here actually received the YouTube videos that we kind of self-selected, and the intervention group was also asked to teach back something that they learned to the fellow or attending as well. We had pre- and post-test rotation surveys to evaluate both medical knowledge and subjective perceived preparedness. So results here uh, are shown in this, this large table and also on the right side in the bar graphs. But basically, 43 out of 64 participants completed uh, with an overall response rate of 67%. And both groups actually were pretty even there, you can see. So there was a significant uh, difference in medical knowledge improvement between the two groups, 5% and 13%, which is shown on the right side in the knowledge improvement bar graph. Uh, and there was no difference in improvement in attitudes or preparedness between the groups. Uh, if you look at the, you can see the preparedness and attitudes here in particular with the p-values and in the, in the large graph, but also on the, on the bar graph on the right, you can tell that there was about the same change in preparedness between the two groups. So we kind of concluded that using YouTube videos as a primary resource in this flipped classroom on the inpatient cardiology rotation uh, improved medical knowledge um, when compared to the usual education, but it did not improve resident self-perceived -per preparedness at all.